Hi, I'm doing a Hush unboxing of the new Afterglow and After Charge palettes. Uh, they're supposed to be dupes for the new Huda minis. Um, I think one of them's the Huda Gemstone and the Huda, I want to say Coral, or I'll have to look that up later. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I already did the tape because I don't, I haven't really edited my videos too much. My box is a little moist for some reason, but that just might be for me moving around. Okay, so lots of bubble wrap, which is always good. I got. Here is After Charge. This is the Yuna Carden. Eep! And the other one. This is supposed to be the dupe for the gemstone. Ah. Which this is the one that I was most excited for. It's all shimmer shades. I'm dropping shit. <laughs> so this is the afterglow which is the more corally one and I can't remember what the Huda name is that this is a dupe for so this is the outside and this is the inside and I'm going to try and do a look with these. So I'm going to use some colors and this one as a base. And then probably the shimmers from the other one on top. So I'm going to start with putting my photo focus concealer as an eyeshadow base. I don't know, I put it too low in my eyelash. That's great. Awesome. <laughs> I just have to take this up higher because I have very hooded eyes. So I have to take my eyeshadow up pretty high. I know some people just take their eyeshadow high because that's what they like to do. That side actually looks a lot better than this side. Do, 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 do. Good enough. And I'm going to take my This little crappy Morphe brush I have. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into Blossom as a base, which is just like this skin tony peach color. I will say you definitely get kickback when you put your brush in it, so I would tap very lightly. But I do like the pigmentation on these Bad Habit dupes. They're usually pretty dang good. I keep doing this thing where I'll keep looking at my phone. I should just use the dang mirror. I 
I don't know why I constantly do that to myself. I guess that would be my bad habit. Didn't. To. <laughs> Uh, awful jokes. So, this is the base color. You can tell it's just maybe like two shades darker than my actual skin color because I'm pale AF. <laughs> so, oh, and I didn't bring, I usually have a wet wipe to kind of clean, clean my brush off on. But, I forgot. Um... Let's see, comparing some shades here, because I kind of want to use the like pinks and the, like like this purpley pink color. So I think I'm going to do, oh no, <laughs> I nicked my eyeshadow, <laughs> oh boy, I'll make a mess of everything. I'm going to use this yellow called Dazzle, and I'm going to use the other side of my fluffy brush, and see, I'm doing it again. I think this one actually doesn't have as much kickback as the, uh, as the peachy shade did, or maybe I'm just being more careful about it. I won't say I'm not seeing, like, actual fallout on my face, which is good. I don't claim to be any type of beauty guru, though. This is just my sort of current as I'm using this experience. You know, I'm learning. So, like many people, so I'm, I'm not going to claim I know what I'm doing. So I'm doing yellow there, and I'm going to use this kind of darker quarry. It kind of looks like old school blush shade called Glimmer. It reminds me a lot of like those deeper pinks, pinky rougey shades from the 80s. Yeah, that's a lot. That's pretty dark. God, see, I'm terrible. I keep trying to blend in the viewfinder. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Can't even see that good in the phone viewer with the ring light around it, so I don't know why I keep doing that to myself. And I'm going to put some more yellow in there and kind of blend the edges together. Kind of looks like mustard and ketchup. <laughs> okay, so I have this. Actually, it does not look too bad. I mean, maybe the yellow kind of looks like if you get a bruise and it turns that yellow. But I'm going to be putting shimmer over that, so. Ooh, I kind of want to try this shade Brilliant, because it's like... A reddish color with like a gold duochrome. Okay, I'm gonna put this like right up on the edge. Ooh, I like it. This eyeshadow looks gonna be a hot mess because I'm just literally like just shoving random shadows on my face, but like I like that. It's almost a similar color to this, but it's got that golden duochrome thing going on, so that's, I like that. This isn't going to be a cohesive look, though. I'm just saying. Now, you can see my kickback pretty good on here. <laughs> Making a mess, so it really, oh, 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 oh. Sheet. Plastic. You need to stay there. Okay. So this brush is... Heck of dirty. I'm gonna go into this lovely bad boy. And 
I guess since my eyes are all yellow and red, I'm gonna stick with this color Energize. I'm gonna do this. Actually, actually, I'm gonna try dry first. Let's see. Like I'm a brush. It's okay. It looks a little powdery on there. Yeah, it's a little. You know, shimmers. Like it's not actually. It's not too bad. Like I want to take this like over here, so I'm going to use my Elf setting spray. Just. I sprayed that towards my phone. This is like the hot mess tutorial. Not a tutorial. Review. Unboxing. The hot mess show. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I'm a little sad about that. <laughs> That's okay for like if you just want to do an inner corner highlight. It's cute. I don't know as far as like packing this on. This color is just really light. I think that color is only really meant to be like an inner corner highlight. I mean, let's see. I'll swatch this on my hand. Yeah, see, like it's real subtle. I mean, it's cute, but it's definitely not like. You're not gonna get anything bold out of that. Even with me wetting the brush, I wasn't getting like a real bold color. I'm gonna swatch these other ones. See, I got this pinky shade that's next to it. No, this ring light makes everything just so difficult. But yeah, that's that one. And then we got Raleigh, which is this this one. Which that's definitely on my color payoff. And this is also why I keep wet wipes for swatches. But there's a purple, a darker purple called Bounce Back. Then we got this bluish purple called Stardust. And we have this darker purpley purple called Second Wind. And my swatches are going to be like literally all over the place. And then we have. Rebound, which is a copper. New Life, which is actually a duo chromey. It's a lighter. I like it. It's buildable at least. And then Round 2, which is like a burgundy. And there's definitely more consistent swatches on uh, Hush's Instagram. And like, I think they have them on the actual app. Though I know some eyeshadow palettes they don't have swatches for. So, yeah. So, in my little... I think I'm just going to actually be somewhat cohesive and use this coppery rebound shade in the middle. And just kind of join my colors I have together. As much as I love pinks and purples. And colorful eye looks I'm already looking a mess so I'm just gonna try to do something I'm t just taking this over to yellow into this red color boop, boop, boop. I'll say this color goes on pretty good so I did spray it with the setting spray, just to make sure it wasn't flaking all over the place. So, I have that. Now, my problem, like, because I'm learning, is making this stuff look smooth. Like, I know a lot of people cut it with concealer and make it look pretty. I don't trust myself, or I'm not that skilled, so... It's just gonna look a little messy. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the afterglow. And I'm gonna do an under eye color with my little baby liner brush. I think I'm gonna take that yellow and go back under. Which Yeah, I'm gonna do that under there. Now 
I said originally this look wasn't going to be cohesive, but I changed my mind. So that's the yellow under there, and you can see that it does not look too bad. I would definitely have to touch up a little bit, just because the... I still don't have me on my face, so like, kickback, but no real, like, fallout. And it looks like the pink that I put in my inner corner, like, completely blended out. So, be wary. I would probably use a glitter glue with that. So I'm going to use this shade Luster and put it in my inner corner. And I caught myself again looking in the freaking viewfinder. I'm going to say this Luster color is very, very, very similar to the copper shade. It is like a lighter version of it. So I don't know if that's the best inner corner highlight for that, but that is what we got. Um, yeah. It's a hot mess. It looks worse in my phone. Like, my skin looks more red and patchy on the screen than it does, like, looking in the mirror. Like, this looks a lot better in my freaking mirror than on my phone. So... I mean, it's still a hot mess, but it, it's looking a little more patchy on the phone because of my sort of subpar blending ability. But yeah, this video is already going too long. That is the After Charge and Afterglow. These are sold in the set. Um, what was it? 20 for both of them, or you can get them individually for 12 each. On the Hush app. And the Hush app, you can also get daily login bonuses. And I use some of my daily login bonuses uh, to go towards the price. So it took off a couple dollars because there was only a little bit of time between these and the Fantasia palette, which I used <laughs> my login bonuses before for. So, you know, if you're patient, you could get free palettes eventually. Anyway, that's the end of this hot mess review, unboxing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Peace.